for? Oh, heart so cold. They think I sold my soul. <laughs> like I would ever sell, sell my, my soul. soul. No, they wanna know how I'm so cold, cold with it. it. My niggas see me and say, bro, did it. Bro, did it. My diamonds dance, I'm got them so living. So living. If you ahead hit them, I'm I might have fucked a couple big bitches, but I never fuck with jealousy. Niggas talking like an op, keep the same energy. Homie said we crew still, but Brody just a friend of me. I don't fuck with you still, you know I got a memory. I never changed like Hov said, you can't relate If you never slept on a cold bed You wasn't plucking roaches off a of mold bread With holes in your pro cats I was only a team but felt more like a old hag My good buddy Joe Budden said he has a better mixtape catalog than Lil Wayne. Oh, well. Who agrees? Who agrees? Joe Budden's wow. I like no, Joe no, 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 no. Before, before, before you, before you, you might wanna, yeah. you might wanna think about that. Nah, he was going crazy on them clue yeah. tapes. Clue tapes, move Ransom, music, move um, music. <laughs> yeah. You know, Drake might have made the joke. Nobody wants to hear move music twenty seven, but. Mood music was a vibe for, for a minute. People weren't doing emotional based raps before Joe, yeah. which is Drake's whole emo. emo Putting your yeah. feelings on, yeah. on mm. that was that was Joe early. Ten right. minutes alone, mm. that was his whole thing. Yeah, I remember that. Well, better remember than, that, that was the last last track on his first album. I wouldn't say his catalog better yep. than um Lil Wayne. Wayne's though. But nah, mixtapes. Mix mix tapes. Mixtapes. Mix no. Nah. Um, the Carters know. are all mixtapes, right? Right. No yeah, ceilings. the Carters. What? Mm -hmm. No, the Carters turned into albums. The Carters are albums. Uh, dedication. Um, Fahrenheit. Five, five, five thousand degrees Fahrenheit. No ceilings, right? No ceilings. Right. I mean, but what was the point of the yeah. argument? I mean, just to say that he's he he thought his was better. I I think that um. Hip hop always got a no, no, no. I, I, I think they always got Kamaz with my whole catalog is better than you. Oh, for, for every artist, you're always gonna, you're always gonna feel like okay, uh, this, problem. this may have been overlooked. Like it oh, is okay. true, right? Because Joe was that first. He was overlooked. First Drake. He was overlooked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He, he, content he, wise. Content wise, the records might have, might have the moved the same. He might not have had the same support, but Definitely he was the guy that was. Support. He didn't, he didn't have time. the same impact. His, his relationships were very public. Because he didn't have the same support. Right. right. So, I mean, it was you a know, different time. But first you don't know what? I could, first, I, could look, I could look at Big Daddy Kane and Jay-Z and say the same argument. First don't mean the best. You know what no, I'm saying? Better. No, no, no right. that's but true. to Mav's point, when you overlook certain, like, if you overlook a founder. But at that time, Joe, Joe Button was in... He was a part of people where people was listening to. So it wasn't like he was super underground where he was overlooked. No, but we can't compare the level of promotion Drake got. I mean, uh, Wayne. Wayne got for his shit versus the level of promo that Joe received for his right. shit. Well, I don't think it's a mixtape mixtape thing. I think it's a song song. Songwriting. He did say it's catalog. a songwriting so, thing. But, but I brought that up because he's talking about impact. Right. Impact but I'm saying when you have market. the impact, right? Like the thing that takes Drake and Wayne kind of in a different direction is that they were writing just better songs, right? No, so bar no, for I bar, think, I think it's market. I think bar, bar for bar, I'll give Joe that. Bar for bar, better, probably. Well, let me not say that. I would say content. But I would content. Go, I would okay, go content, content. because bar for bar, Wayne was smoking right, everything. Right, Wayne was nice. Everybody. So, so I would say that. But when you start getting into the songwriting. That's different. Wayne don't write though, right? No, right. whether whether he freestyle right. or not, no, it's, yeah, it's, it's just creating songs. Song. 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 Drake, song. Wayne, like those are those are compositions. You know what I get from this? The question is not as easy to answer as you might think. It's a little closer than you might you might think. It sounds like a wash off the rip, but connoisseurs who are sitting back who really know it's not. It's it's not that far. As soon as you say it, you go. The Wait, um. I, I will say the, the the one thing I will give Wayne is a lot of his mixtapes included remixes of hit records that were already out. That's true. 
That's and true. he was smoking those. No and Wayne, whose shit it was, he was smoking. That, Wayne he, delivered he different flows on his music too. Where Joe Button was basically in this one lane, this one pocket. No, Wayne, Wayne, Wayne gave him different styles. Well, bro. yeah, no, he, but that that's not to say that Joe was only in one pocket. He wasn't Wayne as was versatile. Gang, okay, he but that, versatile that doesn't mean Wayne. he was only. Yeah, you okay? Yeah, yeah. I give that yeah. to Wayne. I give that to Wayne. Yeah, his yeah, flow. Yeah. He definitely was able to switch up his flow. He was all over the place. You know what I mean? The um. And Chilling in my Beamer, what's that, the, the Swiss Beast joint? Oh, yeah, he went crazy. Oh, yo, fuck, oh my he God. went yeah, crazy. Oh, my God. He went crazy. Yeah, he was going crazy and all that. Like, everything he did back then, that that was what I got, little mama, where he went yeah, off on the, yeah, on the yeah. Jay-Z oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, he went crazy. Yeah. So what part of Joe Button catalog was better than Wayne? Extra. I, I think Joe should stop making this fucking argument of how good <laughs> his music was. I and think he's not rapping on no people more, today. Bro, like, you want people to dig. It, I mean, if you want them to dig, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. But I would rather. I would rather. Especially Joe because he but, just but, got his record. But here's my issue with that. Okay, pump it up. Okay, so now people go back and they're like, "Oh shit, we slept on Joe. This shit was fire." Yo, when you dropping the next tape? Never. No, no. <laughs> Never. So what's the fucking point? What's the point? You dig what I'm saying? Like, come on, Joe. Did, like, cut it out. Did bro. Ransom drop any projects back then? Yeah, Ransom yeah. was definitely. They were saying yeah. Ransom was better than. Buttons. But shout out to Ransom. We, yeah, we ran into Ransom. We just seen him, right? Yeah. yeah. It's my guy. But everybody has their favorites. I mean, music is subjective anyway. Yeah, that's you know what I'm saying. Like everybody has day. their favorites. It, it, but 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 when when we speak objectively on the art itself, there are certain things, it, it, there are certain boxes that are checked who says that will dictate, determine who's better than who. Yeah. Right? <laughs> it's, it just is. You can like something more. That doesn't mean that this thing is better. The mm-hmm. thing that you like more is better than this other thing. It's that's just I'm sorry, not Wayne a thing. Going off, man. And yeah. Wayne, Wayne, <laughs> Wayne to, to his off, point, bro. Wayne at that time yeah. was smoking everything. everything. Smoking everything. everything. Um, I will say this. I called Joe about getting the verse. Um, you know, I've got verses from people who sold millions of records. And he told me it wasn't that he wasn't rapping no more. He just wants two hundred fifty thousand for it, and he wanted two hundred fifty from you. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, I haven't spoken to him since. Wait, wait, wait. This was, this was in two thousand twenty-four. No, this, oh. this was what was it last year? Oh, two thousand twenty-three. Yeah. Still relevant. He wanted what? Yeah, yeah, two hundred fifty thousand for, for a quarter of a million. It, it, was, ba- it was basically him saying no. No, I'm yeah. Not who's you know giving I mean? Joe Button two hundred fifty thousand for a verse? Somebody who's got that. Who's giving anybody two hundred fifty thousand for a verse? I see it's possible. Who? I don't buy that. Well, the, the, maybe the guy that bought the Wu Tang album. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. There you go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He spent like, millions on that. There you go. But it's it's a gamble, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> so that you felt that that was his way of telling you no without being disrespectful in a way. I guess. Well, yeah. I might yeah. have some unreleased Joe Budden in the computer. Take that. She said two fifty. Two fifty. I got it on discount. <laughs> this will be Kim's last episode. This will be Kim's last episode. Sorry, Joe. Niggas out here that's paying that, and the records ain't getting clear neither. Oh, then there's that. That's bad. That's bad. Because they're, they're paying for the look. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But they're not. They're not really thinking it out. No video. No promo you behind didn't, it. You didn't you just include got a record with it. And they might not get clear. You didn't, you didn't include that, that in the price. Happened. You didn't right. put that in your papers. At you should have put that in your papers. At the height of Rick Ross's uh, career, I knew a couple artists that had verses from him, had songs with him, mm-hmm. and they put them shits out, and they went nowhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you really got to be careful with this verse shit. Like, it, figure it, it out. It needs to be more than that. But you need to put everything you want down on paper. You most people just stop with the verse. I just want a sixteen from you. You pay him for the sixteen. Mm-hmm. But now you got to promote it, and he's quiet. Or now you got to promote it, and he's doing something else. Or now you got to promote it, but he's not coming to shoot the video. Mm-hmm. Now the video is an extra seventy-five. The video is an extra fifty. Extra video is extra thirty. You want me to do what on my Instagram? Right. Got 10 million followers. That's going to cost you another whatever this number is. Well, Mac, in your opinion, how much is a Joe Button verse worth? <laughs> That's a great <laughs> question. Mm. Mm. Right it, now. Depends on, <laughs> depends on what you want for it. Depends on what you want to do with it. Homeboy thought an unreleased Wu-Tang album that no one else would ever hear in life was worth millions. That he's not mm. from the culture. We not even go there. That's not, that's not the point. It, see, mm. and that's the thing. 
Your culture won't always determine the price. Ter culture doesn't always determine the value. You can determine the price, but somebody else got to determine the value. So how can he determine the price when he don't know what because the he because this is what he said his value is. Now it's, it, now if he gets that, then it is. It's true. But if he does if he doesn't get it, then it's not. But it's added value to yourself to have a, a Wu Tang project that no one else has. That that right. that that's the argument. If a tree falls in the forest, no one's around to hear. It doesn't make a sound. Yeah. Like. I got this thing. No one's ever heard it before in life. Am I? Is it worth anything? Like, is it worth it that, that people just dope. know I have it? That's, <laughs> that's, that's like of, comic yo, books. And shit. I mean, like I mean, you, you, know you mean? out in the club, like, yo, you want to hear this Wu Tang album? Hey, buddy, come on, grab it. No, you want to hear this Wu Tang? Sure. People do it for status. It's no different than the rapper. Yeah. The saying I got the only right. fifty one on one, right? Right. Right. Yeah. one on one. It's all yeah. the status. It's Bro, all right. Status. Why, why do, but why do we determine? Why do we determine that this is worth this? That watch is worth this. You'll never wear it. You're not gonna loan it to me. I'll never see that watch. But it's worth this. It's a one of one. Okay, it's one of one. So you never made it again. Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe you made it. It was a mistake, and that's why it's a one on one. <laughs> you, got, you got an off 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 damn, brand T shirt. Damn, I things. fucked up the dial on this one. It's <laughs> fucked up. Give this give this to but a rapper. If 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 Banksy can put a picture in a gallery and then as soon as it's sold, she hits a button and it runs through a shredder right in front of everybody. The painting just ran through a shredder. The, the frame was actually a shredder. It ran through a shredder. How much is it worth now? Somebody still thought that that piece of art was still worth that because it was destroyed by the artists themselves and they have all the pieces and they have the frame and it's crazy. You know, people are crazy. And people this, and this is where you have to remember that the word fan is short for fanatic. fanatic. Mm. Mm. And only a fanatic would appreciate right. some stupid shit like that. Right. You know set, 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 <laughs> set your price. Right. Set your price. If you if you if somebody pays it, Nipsey Nipsey charged a thousand dollars for a mixtape. So it's that so, sounded crazy so, at the time until mm. a bunch of motherfuckers brought him. Mm. Until Jay Z bought ten of them. Mm. No, was, he, was it ten? A hundred, I think, or something like that, right? He brought a bunch. He Whatever a bunch. it was, he brought more than one. Yeah, and he waited for the price to go up to go do it. And now, now, what are we saying? Before, no. before he did that, before he did that, mm. somebody would have told me a, a mixtape is a thousand dollars. I looked at you like you were crazy. Mm -hmm. Why? Hmm? Why? Because that wasn't the market for a mixtape. That wasn't the market price for it. No one has ever done that. That just wasn't. Not that everybody. No one's ever done it. The value was set here, right? And he determined that his value was this. Exactly. And then it was they like would, a thousand, right? No, but they, it was a G. It I think he set. started at. A, help me. He started at a hundred, and I think he took it to a band, right? He's charging a full band. How many J um, bought? J bought a few bought, of them, right? I, Ten, I believe. But the thing, the thing, the thing right. is that and there's a lot of factors that go into it. Being that Jay-Z bought this item. He upped the value. He upped the value. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking the value. of which, how much is the reasonable doubt? Uh, I knew you was gonna bring that up. <laughs> because, it, because when you were talking about how much is this worth, how much is a uh, button verse worth, right? Like, Jay-Z, Arguably the biggest rapper, right. right? His stuff, his one of his classic albums is available. His first album, the first album, album that you take your whole life writing. Right. Mm -hmm. well, why? No, why is nobody buying it? And I think it's just too much mud in the water. Because how much is, is it, it going is for? Is it because he's alive? No. How, I, how much is it going for? I, I, honestly, that's, that's not. Is it because no, no, he's alive? No, no I right. honestly it be, believe it's because the person selling it. It's not in good standings with an artist. So if you're a true fan of Jay-Z and you really want to be associated with him or have some sort of ownership of his project, that would not be the way to get it. That's what it is. It's too much money. Would more. you pay two hundred and fifty thousand? Because I, I feel like if you're the guy that buys it from Dame and then you see Jay-Z and you're like, Jay-Z, I'm the guy that got the, the, the. Yeah, yeah. security, security is, is rushing you out and throwing you right. on your face. Like, but if you you're know Drake saying? or Lil Wayne. <laughs> yeah, security right, still right, rushing right. you out. And you right. you <laughs> unless, you, unless you walk up to him and gift it to him. Yeah, like this is yours. I want it to return. You, you, should, you, should, you should have this. Yeah. Right. I, I made here. This, you should have this. Okay, now what's that worth? What's that worth? What's that worth? What's that worth? Mm. Your Jay takes his shit back, looks at you as the person who paid for it, and oh shit, did you really just? Give me my shit back, my well, first fucking album. I, I don't know. What's that worth? Because Jay-Z is like, 
You know, I could have just bought it myself. That's what I'm saying. Why, 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 the whole goal, right, right. the whole goal was for this nigga not to be able to sell it. So it might, it might be worth, it might be worth zero, or it might actually cost you because now Jay's pissed at you. See what I'm saying? Right, that right. It, what's no, it worth? No, and, and but it's all fanatic. It would mean a lot. I own but, this piece for seven years. No, yeah, but if you are a Jay-Z yet. fanatic, if you, don't fanatic wanna, Jay-Z, right? you don't want to get it that way. Right, right. You don't want to get it through the person right. that he's obviously not in good standards with. Right. You know I think, what I'm saying? I think a fanatic would, a supporter would not. Yeah, but do you know how much money you can make off of that? In seven then there's years? that. How much? Then you can that. license how much that music. You, you buy it. But then you, you have just... the license. You have to. Ha- okay. <laughs> All right. So who are you going to go to that's going to be like, yeah, I want to I want, I want, want to piss off Jay-Z? Oh, no, there are plenty, there are plenty <laughs> yeah. of companies who may decide that they want to run that song on a commercial or yep. something, like a specific song. Yeah, I want to piss off Jay-Z. Mm. Mm. I definitely want to piss off Jay-Z. Mm. But do Jay-Z have to authorize that? Not if you... Not if you... Oh, what? oh wait, not, if he owns... Not, does yeah, he own some he, of it? yeah, 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 yeah. He don't own yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. so so it. So technically, you can't do shit with it. Okay, I thought this whole time. Technically, you can't do shit with it besides saying, I have this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Right. But I what's own. what's that worth to you? The, the dude we're talking about, the farmer bro who brought the Wu Tang, I'm the same thing. No, he has that for life, though. Yeah, but he just has it, right? I mean, I mean, like if Ghostface, what, y'all want to hear my verse on it? He has to go to this guy. But he was saying, but he was saying he regrets spending the money, though. He did say that. Right. Yeah, he regret- and after this episode, he's going to regret it again. <laughs> <laughs> but at the time he was buying it, see, value is determined not, you know, you can set, you can determine your price, but you can't always determine your value. Somebody else, Basquiat was doing those paintings and murals all over the city. Yep. It was just, it was just noise. It was yep. just a mess. It was, it was, a, we, we, but when he passed and as he began to rise through the ranks and then he passes those same little squat. I went to a whole museum loaded with this dude's shit. Shit on the side of like a little, like pieces of concrete with his shit on the side of it. Notebooks, right. little scribbles, big ass, huge pieces that hung in Studio 54, all levels. But now that he's gone, Jay Z is bragging about yeah. having those in his house. Because, I mean, because they can't be remade. Value. It's a, it's a limited, yeah. limited edition now. Mm-hmm. Ask how much he was charging for it when he was alive. Now, if he'd have said, yo, I want a thousand dollars back in the eighties, because when I'm gone, this is gonna be worth millions, you might look at him like he's nuts. Right. So so how much would the J- Joe Button verse be worth if he like if he he was <laughs> for for someone for someone who's a Where's this conversation? I'm just, saying, I'm just asking. I don't I know. Imagine, like, how okay, of course okay, Mecca got okay. the answer. <laughs> no, I, I, I think think this through. Think this through. I'm Joe Button, I'm this Guy in media with with a past in rap, very successful past in rap. I tell you, I'm never rapping again. Mm. And then I make an EP, four or five records, EP, cover art, the whole shit. Mm. Never gonna play it. Never gonna never gonna give it to any DJ. I'm never. I'm gonna sell this to my fans. You're mad popular. Oh shit. I told you. No, I'm putting shit out. Don't worry about it. Yeah, all right. No, you are mad popular. You are mad. You told all yourself too. Said the quiet part out loud. If I if I'm Joe and I do that and I put together like this thing and I say I'm I'm never rapping again. This is it. Like this is this is it. Mm-hmm. It's the last time you ever gonna hear my my verses ever. And I took a year each to make each song, mm-hmm. and it's seven songs, a seven year project. I'm never gonna touch it. And boom, what would you be willing to pay for that? What would someone be willing to pay for that if they knew this was if if to him Joe Budden was Basquiat, mm-hmm. and they were that much of a fan of his? I mean, it's it's priceless to the person who believes that the value is through the roof, and it's junk to somebody who's not. A yeah, Joe somebody fan. else might listen to it and be like, "You took a year to make this." Yo. So DDG isn't gonna buy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're never going to hear your music. Uh, oh no, you will. You will. <laughs> you will. You will. Yo, if, I, if I told somebody, okay, there's another scenario for you. Mm-hmm. I haven't, I haven't recorded anything on any level in almost a decade, maybe more, probably more, probably mm-hmm. definitely more. But well, there's engineers out there that got the files, though. Surely, I know yeah. exactly who they are. But if yeah. I told, if I told you, okay, here's an EP. I'm never my first EP back in whatever amount of years, whatever up ten years. My first EP back, and I'm only making one. What's up? 
Yeah. And then put it out there and well, see who wants to well, do what. Well, the opposite yeah. happens with yeah. artists yeah. when they claim they go retire and it's their last album. Mm-hmm. But it's the same principle. It makes it more valuable because it's rare. Yeah. Right, right, but right. somebody has to determine the value. No, I, I, it, 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 something just hit me in the head. Like, why isn't there an MEO playlist? Because you haven't made one. Mm. Mecca, what do you what do you think? What do you How do you become for? Mecca? Mm. What the fuck? Like, Math Hoffa's right, my expert right, so opinion. The MEO playlist coming soon. Why why haven't we done this? That's mm. crazy. But you'll spend two fifty for a button verse? It doesn't it doesn't have the same kind of value for me. Okay. You think what I mean? But I, the music that Joe has, I appreciate. Wow. Oh, that's a phone. That's a phone. I thought he was I saw, That's wow. what I saw. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. You never know what these little men Welcome to New York City. Uh, you heard? Uh, <laughs> um, you know what? They all got book bags. They're all coming from school. I'm not mad. Yep. Spaz five out. Five, 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 have fun. They all coming <laughs> from have school. Fun. Fuck it. They got uniforms on. Right. They coming from school. Could be worse. Don't don't just don't have your parents catch you out there. That's it. I'd rather that. <laughs> I'd, ra- I'd rather that. All right. Versus the alternative. So, yeah. According to how you feel about things, the value could go up, the value could go down. Um, shout out to the fans who do place value on the things that we do. Shout out to the fans who place extreme value on the things that we do. Shout out to the members. Shout out to everyone who chimes in, everyone who hits the like automatically, whether they watch the video or not. Shout out to all you guys, because without you guys, we have no culture. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm so special, I'm so special, I'm so special, so special, so special I'm like Ichigo, master in a red suit This my bank I form, I'm about to let loose Better make your next move your best move Straight out the gate, niggas gon' hate and try to test you Watch who you with, who your mans, who you next to If you take a hit with son assist like a nephew You can never check us, homie this a chess move Broke this on the little short bus, I'm so special If man say get him, I'ma get him, ain't no talking when I pull up Park up, hop out, run down with my hood up Now what the fuck are you hating for? Can't DFG get money anymore?